Barracks Productions. What's good, my 92 Alphas? It's your boy, JB. I'm back with another video. Y'all see the title? Listen, I'm gonna show you how to process parts today, man. In depth. You know what I'm saying? Class 2, class 9, all that. You know what I'm saying? My boy just uh, got picked up. Johnson. Y'all know who he is, man. And uh, we about to show you how to process parts today. Hope everybody's staying safe during this uh, COVID-19 situation. You know what I'm saying? But us in the SSA, we working every day. Is it two shifts, eight to 12 and 12 to four. But um, y'all just stay tuned what we got going on. I'm running a little late, I ain't even gonna lie. But it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I'll highlight y'all in a second. Y'all already know, we is here. Check out the warehouse. It's the warehouse, man. So I'm gonna tell y'all what we do in the receiving section on how to process parts and how to get it out of here quick and fast. So what I do, I separate everything. First of all, let me turn this music down. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all what I do. I separate everything so everybody got its own section. You see all the MROs is just facing up. These are the MROs right here. And then I do this right here. So it's two different piles. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so boom. This, this is all we doing right here. I separate everything um, so we're not processing everything at one time. I always put something on the table. I usually do like 10, 15 on the table. Then I put the rest of it right here on the floor. You know what I'm saying? So what I do up here, what I do up top here, is when I take out the MROs from the boxes, I always put the last four on the box. And if it has a quantity of more than one, I will write the number under here. So I'm about to just do that for all of this. And then we're gonna get back to what we got going on. All right, so boom. Everything is labeled. Like you could just show them what, what it look like. These are what the boxes look like. The last four. And then the numbers under them is the quantity that's in these box. That's how we do it. And we, we separate all the MROs. Separate all the MROs. So everything for this pile that you're looking at right here is right here. All the MROs is right there. And all the ones for the, the first pile is right here. So this is, a, this is how you all just want to do it. You want to separate everything. And then once you get into the system, you don't got to keep processing it. And then opening up some more boxes. Now you already got your piles already done situated. So now what I'm finna do is show y'all how to actually process these parts. And once we get into that, um, that's just a whole nother different step. All that is easy. Y'all in AIT, y'all really don't even know y'all job. Hey, just get through it. And you gonna learn that as soon as you get to your boots. Yeah, yo. We about to show y'all. We gonna give y'all the T codes that we use. Yes, all sir. that. Yes. But this is my, this is only for class nine. We're gonna show y'all how to process class now. Class two, that's a whole nother video. Whole nother video. Hey man, so listen. This is what he's doing right now. Let me zoom in right though. So he's going to the print cockpit. Always make sure that thing is clear. Because once you start processing all of these, and there's something in your print cockpit, you gonna be sick. You gonna be printing out all these and some stuff that you already did Yesterday, how you doing, LT? Listen, this is how you know ain't nothing to know. It just say no documents. It say no documents. That's how you know. All right. So, step one. Step one, we gotta go to easy access menu. Hit Win GUI. Everything that we process, you can do it through two ways, but we're gonna show y'all the best way that we do it. It's through Win GUI. I'm gonna go to Wingu. So we on Wingu right here. You feel me? So that box, the search box right there, you wanna, uh, we going to our first T code, which is Z-E-D-F. You know what I'm saying? He already know this, but we, we got a Dropbox button over there. So this is Z-E-D-F. This is what Z-E-D-F look like. So, damn, okay. 
you gonna need one of these, right? But if not, it's all good. You can type it in. Yeah. So this is ZDF right here. So what you want to do is you want to go to where it say right the the uh, document number. Yeah, the, the document number is right here. On, this is a MRO. I know y'all done heard that before. If y'all haven't, this is what an MRO looks like. So, and that's the, the document number right here. You're going to scan this into the document number right here, right? With this. But if you don't have this, as he, as Sarah Whip said, you can type it in. You can type in the whole thing if you don't have this scanner. This is just make life easy. Hell yeah. You scan it. Boom. It's going to go through. Same document number right there. All right? Now you just you you hit, hit execute. execute. It's going to do its thing. Now this MRO says it has a quantity of one. Mm -hmm. So now it loaded up. Let's see. You're looking for an inbound delivery right here. Now it, it got the, uh, this the NSN number right here. Where, right where here. the NSN? How I know if it's right? All right. This this the uh, NSN number right here. It's, it's going to be the second bar on the MRO. Yeah. All right. Look for the um, zero one. What We go for the last four, eight, three, two, seven. Yes, sir. All right, now look right here. Material number, it's, it's gonna say material right here. Material number and NSN, it's the same thing. So you see 8327, 8327, it looked it look like a match. Also, uh, this the um the nomenclature was really the part number name, right? It got it right here on the MRO. It say out cert clear, out cert, out cert clear. Yes, sir. You gotta make sure everything match. And look, this the quantity right here. It say one. Yes, sir. Say, hey, this is a quantity. It say one. Hey, it look good. So, you click, you click on it. You want to double click that inbound right there. All so right. this pops up. What we do here? And right, then you go to the pencil right here. So when you hit that, if you don't hit that pencil, you can't process nothing. Exactly. It, like that pencil makes everything an edited version, yeah. so you can edit stuff now once you click that pencil. So once, once you do that, make sure everything is still the same. Yeah. Everything matches up. The name, uh, the quantity, NSN, matches up to this paper right here. What do you do? So you see this post goods receipt? That's just posting it. Make sure it's good. Yes, sir. It's going to do its thing once you, it say goods receipt for inbound delivery. Mm -hmm. And it just posting. You just hit OK. You go to the side. You put that in there. Say I would do all this, but that's for another time. We, I'm just showing you this. This one part right here. This is how you process all class nine items where if there's no mistake. So we about to finish this up so y'all can see the full process and then we're gonna get through everything and we're gonna show y'all what's next after you get done processing everything. Now you gotta print it out. Yeah. Remember how I showed y'all the print cockpit was empty? So imagine if you had let's say like 10 things in your print cockpit, right? And you just process that. All 10 of those things plus that is going to be in your print copy. That's why you have to make sure that the print copy is clear before you start processing. Right. So we about to get to the print copy. And this this menu pops back up. So you go to my open print request. And then once once everything is done, it'll pop up in that box right there. <laughs> so boom, you see how I say one MRO right there? Yep. All right, so boom, we got we got to print that out. But we're going to print everything out once we process everything so this right here is what our print copy look like right now that's that's johnson i process under his name but this is what it look like we got 20 mros that's why i was telling y'all like earlier make sure y'all stuff is clear because if y'all printing y'all gotta print 28 out and then also the other stuff that was in there so always make sure that thing is clear but all you gotta do is just hit generate uh, then you want to just hit download this is why I'm Apple everything. They got us using these drinks. When they hit open. And this right here. Then just print. They're going to tell us whether it goes to a customer or a put away ticket meeting is going to ASL. So 62 pages for what's on here. Ah. Then just press out. And it just prints out. Once I'm done with these, all I'm gonna do is take them from here, put them over there, and then start processing these, processing these parts right here. Uh, let me show you how I made these packets list real quick. They, they, this is how we do it over here. Make sure it just go by faster. So, this is the packet slip right here. 
So this is going to ASL. All I do for ASL, I get the last four, the last four, who it's going to, and the quantity. So it's gonna look like this. That's what it look like. I don't care about my handwriting, it don't matter. That's what it look like. All right, so we got the ASL joints out the way. All right, so now we going to the MROs. You did what I'm saying? So we still packing slip, everything's still the same. The last four, right there. The last 8327, last four. The quantity, right there. And then who's it going to? You gonna put this right here. The last three. AF5. So every MRO is gonna be something different. That's AFD, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's going to the same customer. So I'm gonna make this one up, show y'all what it look like, and then we're gonna fast forward. So this is what it look like. This is what, what a package slip would normally look like. Um, so this 8327, you see how it says one. This 8327, you see how it says two, that means there's two in this box. One of them goes to AF5. That's why we always put that number at the bottom. You dig what I'm saying? All right, man. So I got all the packet slips. All of them. They done. So this is this is how you do it. You see, you got the last four, quantity, who it going to. So all you really got to do is just find the last four in these boxes. So this one's right here. So you see how I say 83272? I got 837 for two. Man, this is what it look like. It's all backwards. I don't know. That's how I do it. But once everything is tagged like this, <laughs> once you tag everything, man, you see that black box over there? Not, nah, not him. The black box. Not this one. <laughs> we put these all over there. He's still making his packing slips. Slow man. <laughs> but yeah, we put them over there, man. And then issue go ahead and put them up in their bins over there. He got to do this stuff on the flow. But up top is done, man. But this is what it look like. I won't be 92 offers. We showed y'all the process on how to get these right here. This is what we try to eliminate. This right here. That's saying that we've been off the computer for so long, but only for training purposes only. We wouldn't let that happen. He would stay on the computer all day. And you see all the parts is gone. All the parts, they gone. They in the bin. So, he has to clear, he has to clear his uh, his cockpit. So all you do to clear that, you just hit yes. And then it's gonna go away. Hopefully Gianni don't act crazy. All right, so boom, that's how you know it's clear. So now, there's one last step. So the customer could, so when the customer pick up parts, it's called a VL06, how they gotta bring in. For the parts, for the parts that we process, we are the ones that put it on the VL06 side. In order to do that, we have to go to AIT and PGI the parts. We're about to show you how to do that. And then that way, we completely finish processing the parts. So we gotta show you that. So we back on G-Army, we gotta go to AIT now. So all you gotta do, y'all come back here. You know what I'm saying? Go down to the AIT main menu. I'm gonna pull up a screen. All right. That would come out, just accept it. All right. So from here, you wanna go to where it say pick. You click on that, John. All right, so boom. Now, it's gonna be your name right there. It's gonna be your name. You wanna make sure when you hit on, it's only gonna show yours. After you do that, go ahead and hit the search bar so everything that you process that doesn't go to ASO is gonna show up here these are all the customer parts so today for training purposes only you see that we process 50 items that go to customers so for the customers to actually be able to see this on their paperwork we have to do this right here so we click on it and we just hit PGI delivery yes and then we post it. It's gonna actually do you want to post it. Once you do that, and you gotta do it for each individual item. But once you do that, it's gonna do a step. Once we do all that, everything is everything. You know what I'm saying? 
And that, that's it. Now you see the number, it just went down to 48. So you just do that for the whole process. But yes, that is how you guys process class nine items, man. Big link up. My All boy right. just hit E5. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, anything's possible, man. <laughs> anything's possible. You want to be a night two off? This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do, man. But y'all just go ahead, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and comment which I want to see next, man. And then we're going to give y'all that content. I'll holler at y'all.